Hi, good morning. Um, I came on here to talk to you about something that I think a lot of people don't understand. And when you get into the camming world, and I know that all of you ladies who are like already in the industry are going to really understand what I'm talking about. There are a lot of different fetishes and things that you're going to come across. Like not everyone is going to be normal. Not everyone is going to like the same things. And honestly, I would advise you to just keep an open mind. If you don't feel comfortable with something or doing something, um, you know, just politely decline. I don't think that it's very, you know, I don't think it's very humane of you to judge someone else based on their fetishes. If someone does something that you don't agree with or you don't understand, just let them know that that's not your thing. But you don't have to degrade them for it. Like, really accept people for who they are and just let them know politely, okay, that's, you know, that's something that I don't really do. And treat them like a human being because everyone is a human being regardless of what makes them tick. If someone likes to be urinated on, um, you know, that's their thing. If they, if they like... If you're comfortable doing that, then do that and make a decent amount of money off of it. If you're not comfortable doing it, then don't. But don't make them feel like they're less than because of the fetish that they have or something that they, you know, they. it's already a secret to them in their mind. They're already hiding it from everyone else. They're already probably ashamed of it. That's why they do it in private. That's why they're looking at you and they're asking you for your help to help them express themselves and get off on something that not a lot of people accept. And you should relate because you're doing something, you're doing a job that not a lot of people accept either. So accept others and others will accept you. Anyways, one of the fetishes that I've come across, which is obviously everyone's, probably everyone's favorite, is financial domination. And financial domination has, has become so different than what it used to be. Because when I first started learning about financial domination, it was a very long time ago, um, and I tried to get into the world and I had no knowledge of anything that I was doing and I made the same mistakes that every single woman made and that's that you just demand things and you just think that degrading someone is going to make someone want to pay you money and that's not really the right way to go about it. Uh, financial domination is definitely a psychological it's a psychological fetish because it's all about them feeling like you have all the power and they want to feel like they they are so in love with you and they are so enamored by you that they'll give you everything that they have including their financial status they enjoy building you up and as they sink below and what i mean is they enjoy like paying for you to get your nails done they enjoy um buying you shoes, they enjoy buying you nice clothes, and seeing you dress in these things sexy for them to tease them and let them know, ha, 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 you'll never get this. You're never going to get to be with me. You're spending all your money on me. You're, you're, you're paying for my leisurely activities. You're um, forking out money to make me happy and you less happy. And you're still never going to get me because I'm so out of your reach. It's definitely a power, um, a power fetish. Like you, if you like to feel in power, if you like to feel like you're powerful, if you like to feel like you have control and you can manipulate people and manipulate men and, um, and that's something that you enjoy, then that's something that you will like to do. But I think that a lot of people mix financial domination with some type of other fetish. I've come across people who like to, excuse me, like they'll pay money, but they, they're not necessarily paying money because it's their fetish. They're paying money because their fetish is they want you to tease them and degrade them with your feet or tease them and degrade them with your words. And, um, it's a lot of fun. It is. Especially if you're a female that likes the feeling of being empowered. Um, but I think that a lot of the... I 
think that what we've run into a lot nowadays is that the market is saturated in people who don't understand this fetish. And they think that they can just demand, 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 demand. And men are just supposed to be like, oh yeah, here, have my money. And it's definitely an exchange. Um, the exchange is definitely greater in your favor as the beautiful goddess woman that you are. But it's not a one-sided thing. You definitely have, you definitely need to play on their fetish. Like it's, it's a relationship between the both of you. You're the dominant and they're the submissive. And it's kind of like you're being worshipped, but you need to put in that effort to make sure that they're getting their end of the bargain as well. You need to make them feel like you are out of reach. You need to, like, if, if you take money from them, like, it, it's not, it's not fun for them if you're not giving anything back. So tease them a little bit. Let them rem remember why you're in power. It's not just, I'm going to take your money and I'm going to ignore you because you're worthless. It's more of, like, you want to give me your money because you're so enamored and so infatuated with me. You need to give me all your money because you worship me and you want to show me how much power I have over you. I'm taking your money from you because you just are so easy and weak for me to get from. And I'm going to spend it on things that don't matter because your money doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is the fact that I have all this power over you and that I'm going to waste all your money on things that make me happy. And who cares about you and your happiness? I'm going to go out tonight with a guy and you, I'm going to send you pictures of me and him together because you wish you could be me. You wish you could be him. I'm sorry, you wish you could be him at the table, but you're not good enough. The only thing that you're good for is being used. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that dynamic. And don't, um, a lot of, a lot of domin, domin, dominants in the industry uh, are, you know, backlashing a lot of the newbies that are coming into this fetish because everyone thinks it's like a get rich quick thing. And it's really not. I was... I was a dominant, just a dominant, for like a year, and I actually can, I did pretty well, like I was making a lot of extra money, but it's it's not, you have to, it's not easy, first of all, it's just like camp model, you have to start, you have to start slow, it's not like people are just going to start handing you their money, you have to actually, you have to actually find what makes them tick, and make them tick in order for you to get what you need to get out of them. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are going to waste your time. A lot of people are going to message you and be like, oh, I want to serve you, but they just want the feeling of wanting to serve someone. To find someone who actually is into the fetish is like finding a needle in a haystack. But they're out there. And when you find one and you do it right, you create this bond in this relationship where they are so enamored and so... Um, weak by you that they can't help but beg you to send you the money so they can feel that rush again of the power that you have over them. Um, and I hope this makes sense because a lot of people are probably a little bit confused, but there's a lot of different fetishes and this is just one of them. And it's the one that I feel like is most misused and most un comprehensible because a lot of people don't really get the understanding of it. So um, if you have any questions you can feel free to put them in the comment section or you can email me. Um, if you think that I'm wrong in some of the things that I said I'm more than welcome to like listen to your opinions and see what you think the end is what it is and, and maybe I got something wrong I don't know but when I was first starting I was reading tons of books on it because I felt like I really wanted to understand this fetish that people were asking me to you know become and once I learned it I felt like it was definitely something I enjoyed doing at the time and, and like I do every once in a while as well like it's fun to be in charge it's fun to be in control and it's 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 fun to be worshipped as a woman of course you want to be worshipped 
but um, it's also something that you have to really, you know, it's, it's something that you need to learn. It's not something that's just like, gimme, 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 gimme. It's more of, you have to know what to say, what to portray, and, and, and how to give back without giving too much. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. But those of you who are into this lifestyle, you know, you're more than welcome to comment and let me know if, I, if I'm wrong or if I'm right or or what you think. Because I know a lot of you are a lot more um, experienced in this type of fetish. However, me, I only did it for a year. I have to say that I did become pretty su successful at what I was doing. I had, like... I had several submissives, several slaves over time, and, um, but at once I think the most I ever had was three, and it was pretty substantial financially, but once again, everyone's different, everyone has different things, and people who are making tons and tons of money off of these people, um, they know what they're doing. And people who are just joining the industry and asking for money, they might get some money every once in a while, but it's definitely something you have to learn. And it's definitely something that you have to do right in order to do it successfully. At least that's my opinion. All right. Well, thank you for listening.